Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Priceless with uh, a Halo 3 commentary. Uh, bring some more Halo at you. This is a social slayer. Just playing with some friends. Uh, Rain was drunk at the time, so yeah. We d and uh, Steely Web didn't have the maps, so we couldn't play anything really except for social slayer. So uh, that's what we did. Um, this is after uh, about two weeks straight of only playing Gears of War 2. I got into a huge Gears uh, frenzy, and look at me missing shots. Yeah, I'm not that great with the sniper. I'm really, really good with the sniper about 10% of the time. And the rest of the 90, I'm either just half and half or bad. <laughs> That's basically how it is. But here's one of the 10% right there. And right here, which should have been a headshot. Just watch. Should have been a headshot, but he gave me the kill. It doesn't matter. I get the kill anyways. But uh, right now I'm going to talk a little bit about you know why I prefer Halo 3 over Halo Reach. Um, first thing... I mean, you could disagree if you want, but I don't see how you could possibly disagree with this statement I'm about to say. Halo 3's graphics are just better. I mean, everything about it. I mean, the levels, the... I mean, you know, just, just the, the fucking... The aesthetics of the maps, uh, just the environments. It all looks it all looks better on Halo 3. And I don't understand how anybody could disagree, and I don't understand how Bungie um, made it like that. I mean, why? Just pretty much everything you know, graphically about Halo 3 I, I think is better. And and you might I've heard somebody bring up the fact, well what about reflection? That's a really good looking map. Well yeah, compared to Ivory Tower, it's good, but really look at it. All it is is just a bunch of gold and lighting. And there's really nothing really you know, too spectacular about reflection. I mean it's it's look, check out the Okay, that brings me to my next point, that overkill. The BR is a far superior weapon from a DMR. BR is skill, DMR is luck. That's my opinion right there. I'll explain what I mean by that. Um, with a DMR, in order to be good with it, you have to carefully aim and not spam your trigger. But, you know, kids can kill you by spamming their trigger. You know what I mean? Uh, they can just... Luck will beat your skill. In a, in a BR battle, skill beats skill. That's all there is to it. In a DMR battle, you're carefully aiming, you're not spamming your trigger, you're about to get that five shot, this kid shoots you, and you know, you're shooting him, he's shooting you, he's spamming the trigger, he gets the kill, that doesn't make sense. DMR is luck, BR is skill. You know, that's that's my opinion on that. You can disagree, but I don't, you know, I really think about it. How many times you've tried to carefully aim, and you're about to get that five shot, and this kid's been spamming his trigger since the beginning of the DMR battle, and he gets the kill on you? That's That's dumb. It's really stupid. Um, so that's that's my opinion on the difference between the BR and the DMR. Look at this kid. Why would you fucking run straight at me when you see me charging the laser? What a dipshit. But uh, and uh, the next thing, the maps. You know, Bungie, they have really good maps in Halo 3. All these maps. Like I would rather play any map on Halo 3 over any map on a uh, on Reach. I mean, they're all just they're all not that great. I mean, uh, Halo Reach's maps are basically uh, either gigantic open spaces and you have to play 4v4 on Hemorrhage, which is fucking the stupidest thing because they don't have enough 4v4 maps. And uh, either that or it's just a bunch of hallways and corridors for people to camp with a camo shotgun or camp up camp upstairs with the sword by a lift. That's basically all the maps are. They're just tiny little rooms. There's no there's no in between, you know, like Halo 3 has really good in between. It's got narrow corridors, it's got open spaces, it's got mid middle ground. It's really balanced on the maps. Um so that's what I think I think the maps are better. I'll I'll do a little recap and I'll get a little bit more into this in one of my next videos. But so far I think the graphics the maps and the the BR are just all better um, for Halo 3 compared to Reach, and that's just my opinion. I want to know what all of you think about what I've said. I want to know your opinions, uh, whether you agree or disagree. Try to keep it a little bit civil, though. I mean, you know, it's 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 kind of pointless to just be foaming at the mouth saying you're fucking wrong. Blah, blah, blah. You know, just just give me a good reason, and uh, I'll take it into consideration. You know, let's uh, let's be civil about our uh, disagreements. Alright, looks like this video is coming to a close. Um, I get the 25 and 0 uh, perfection on these guys. Look at me rape this guy one shot, untouchable. Um, I get the 25, and actually, I think I got shot by my banshee, but oh well, I survived.
And, uh, well, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to end this commentary right here. And, um, like I said, uh, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the differences between Halo 3 and Halo Reach. And, uh, you know, it's been fun doing this commentary, like always, and have an excellent day, everybody.